Hi everyone, uh, my name's Dan and I'm a physio with PT Kids. Because we're all working out at home at the minute, I've created this physio to help. Uh, this workout is going to be about 20 minutes long and it's designed to help us work on our sit to stands, standing balance and stepping. All you're going to need for your workout, because uh, we're keeping it as simple as we can, are your tripod sticks or walking canes, uh, whatever walking aid that you use. Uh, but this workout is really designed to do with some kind of uh, sticks uh, and your therapy bench. Now I don't have a therapy bench so I'm going to be using a, a chair and my sticks are a little bit little for me so you're going to see me do my stand without holding on to my stick all the way up but for you guys at home make sure you keep hold of your sticks don't, don't let go unless you're instructed to do so as part of the video. Uh, when you're setting yourself up what you need to do is get your therapy bench at a good height for you, so a height that you can stand from, but it's not too high that it's really easy for you to stand, and it's not too low that it's really hard for you to stand, but it wants to be low enough that it's going to challenge you so that when you do your sit to stand, you are having to work a little bit hard to get yourself up there. Okay, so I'll let you get all set up with all your equipment, and then we'll get ready to go. Brill, hope we're ready. So we're going to start off with a little bit of a warm up to get your legs going. We're going to do 10 sit to stands holding onto both of your sticks. So ideally, if you can do this without anybody holding your sticks to keep them stable, then do it all by yourself. If not, if you need a little bit of help, at least to start with, get mum and dad just to hold the bottom of your sticks to keep them stable. I don't want you to do much pulling. I want to make sure we do lots of pushing with our legs. So we're going to do 10 sit to stands with two six sticks to get us started. There you go. One, two, three, four. Remember we've got our feet flat on the floor. We're leaning forwards, pushing up nice and tall. Tuck our bum in at the top. Seven, Eight, come up nice and tall and lift our head up. Lean forwards, push up. Nine. Ten. Great, hopefully that's a good start to get you going. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna come up to standing. Remember I'm letting go of my sticks because they're too little. But we're standing up nice and tall, feet flat, little gap with our knees tucking our bum in we're just going to do 10 seconds of little steps on the spot so don't walk forwards don't be tempted to move we're doing on the spot pick your feet up put them down pick your feet up put them down five four three two one stay standing because what we're going to do now is we're going to do a big stomp okay we're holding on to our two sticks we're going to lift our knee up really high and stomp our heel down to the floor. Now when you stomp your foot down, put it back in the same place that it was before, okay? And I don't want you to push your knee back really hard. Keep the knee quite soft on the way down, but push your heel down. High knee, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine knee up high stomp it down ten great and we're going to have a sit down hopefully you're keeping up with me if we're going a little bit too fast don't be afraid to pause the video and then you can always catch us up uh, later on so now we're back to our sit to stand we've still got our two sticks if we can do it without somebody holding our sticks for us, that's great. If somebody needs to hold our sticks stable for us, that's okay as well. We're going to do a big stand and this time on the way down, we're going to do it really, really, really slowly. So I'm going to count to five on the way down. I want you to come down in stages and your bum's not allowed to touch the bench until I get to five. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Slow, gradual sit down, just like this. So we're ready. So we're up tall, holding on. We're going one, two, three, four, five. That's one. And again, one, two, three, four, 
five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Just start to feel those legs working really hard on the front on the way down. We're halfway through, we're gonna do five more. Tall, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is where I always lose count. I think we've got one more. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Hopefully you've got the hang of that. It's up nice and tall, down really slowly. Count to five on the way down. Okay. We're gonna do something similar again, but what we're gonna work on this time is we're working on going fast on the way up. So we're only gonna do five this time. As soon as your bottom touches the bench, we're straight back up as quick as we can. So there's no resting at the bottom, straight back up, straight onto our feet, down slowly. So we've got our two sticks again, making sure our feet are flat, knees are pointing forwards. We're coming, leaning forwards on the way up, leaning forwards, push up, bum tucked in. Okay, remember as soon as our bottom hits the bench this time, we're straight back up. So we're one, two, three, four, five, up. That's one. One, two, three, four, five, up. That's two. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I was a little bit too fast on that one. Don't forget to slow it down. One, two, three, four, five, up. That's four. We've got one more. Nice and slow on the way down. One, two, three, four, five, and up. Brilliant. Okay, we're gonna have a little sit down now. Have a little breather. <laughs> Give your legs a shake hopefully you're starting to feel it a little bit now in those legs so what we're going to do now is we're going to make it harder as this workout goes along it's going to get progressively a little bit difficult so we're going to get rid of one stick and we're just going to use one again if you need a little bit of help for somebody to hold it for you that's okay if you can hold it all yourself even better you can if you need to push a little bit on the bench to get you started if you can do it without even better. We're going to do 10 sit to stands with your one stick. So from here, we come push up, tall, balance one, push up two, push up three, push up four and push up five and down brilliant okay five with one side five with the other we'll make ten so swap for the other one get rid of that one don't put it anywhere that's tempting try not to hold on onto anything on the way up if you need to do that little push on the bench to get you started that's okay we're going to do five on this side we're coming up forwards push tall one Two, three, four, five, and down. Brilliant. So stick with your one stick, okay? Because we're going to start to challenge our balance a little bit more now, okay? As we stand up, we're gonna balance and we're gonna put our arm in three different positions and try and hold it for 10 seconds. We're gonna start with our arm down by our side. We're gonna go arm out to the side and arm up to the ceiling. Okay, we're gonna do it nice and slowly to start with. So let, let me show you. So we're coming up, tall, hand by our side and balance. Going 10, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Don't sit down, arm out to the side, stretch it out, reach for the wall. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Next one, we're stretching it up to the ceiling. As we're stretching up, don't let our knees sink down. Keep pushing up strong. Hold it for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let your hand come down to your side and then sit down, okay? When you get to 10 at the end, try and don't be tempted to flop down. Bring your arm down, sit down nice and slowly, okay? We're gonna do the same on the other side. So we're gonna swap for your other stick. We stand up nice and tall. We've got our balance, pushing up through our knees, bum tucked in, head up, hand by our side. We're holding it for 10, really strong and tall. Straight legs, but not pushing those knees backwards. Don't lock them back. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Reach that hand out to the side. Try not to hold it in tight to your body. Try and stretch it away. Push up tall. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach up to the ceiling. Stretch up high. Don't be tempted to sink. Keep pushing hard. Mum and dad give a little prompt just on the top, on the, on the knees, just to get them pushing up tall. Okay, five, four, three, two, right, remember, don't drop. One, bring your hand down and sit down nicely. Good, well done. So like I said, we're gonna get progressively harder. So we're gonna get rid of our sticks all together now. Okay. So we're gonna do sit to stand with no sticks. Now, depending on your, on different levels of ability, you might depend on, you might need a little bit of help some children might need somebody just to hold them around their knees just to give them a little bit of stability. Uh, some children might be able to do it with their knees sort of stabilised against the back of the bench if they shuffle backwards a little bit. Others, if you're really good at this, just bring yourself forward a little bit, work really, really hard, okay, and, and do it without any help at all, okay. So we're going to go from here, we're going to lean forwards. If you need to do a little push to get you going, I'll, I'll let you off with that so long as you work really hard on the way up. So we're leaning forwards and we're push, 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 push down. Don't worry about holding it at the top. Just worry about really pushing those hips forward on the way up. So right, ready, we go forwards then. Two. Three. So push if you need to. Push, 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 push. Four. If you can only get halfway up, that's okay for a start. If you can get to here, push, push, push. Really try and tuck your bum in, tuck your bum in as much as you can. And down. That's what we're looking for. Even if you just get up a little bit, push really hard through your feet and tuck, try and tuck your bum in as much as you can. That's okay too. It's different for everybody depending on, on where they're at at the moment. So, are we on? Six. See, this is where I lose count again. Seven. Push, hold, eight. Nine. If they need a little bit of help because they can't really get themselves up at all, mum and dad, you can, you're can. you okay to give them a little bit of a prompt. Just hold around the back. Try and give them a prompt to lift their bum up a little bit, but once they're up, Try and let go of them as much as you can. So give them a little prompt, come forwards, push, 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 and then try and let go a little bit. So you're not giving them full support. Hold it for a second and down. Good job, okay. We're gonna do one more stand uh, with no sticks, okay? And we're gonna try and hold it for as long as we can. We're gonna try and do, let's say at least 10 seconds. So as best you can, all on your own if you can, but with a little bit of help if you need it. Okay, we're gonna do one big stand and then we're gonna balance and hold it for as long as we can. Mum and dad might want to kneel down in front just in case we've got any fallers or in case they need a little bit of help just to restabilize or rebalance around the hips. So we're gonna come forwards. We're gonna push, we're gonna hold it, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, keep going if you can beat me. If you beat me, well done. Keep going as long as you can. Hold that balance. When you feel like you're losing it, try not to flop. Try and sit with control. All the way through this, we're trying to do things with good control. Okay, well done if you're still with us. Okay, we're gonna bring your sticks back in now because we're gonna start to move, okay? Now we're gonna do some walking with your, with your two sticks. Now, I want us to do our stick walking with a reciprocal pattern. So what I mean by that is we do opposite arm and opposite leg. So we're gonna do left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg. And we often do this by saying one, two, three, four. We give each, each arm and each leg a number. So we go one, two, three, four. But it's opposite, so it's left, right, right, left. So we're gonna do a big stand. We're gonna come up tall. I've let go of my sticks, but you keep hold of yours. I want you to go for a, a walk out, uh, do a, a length of the room and back. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, some of you might be quite good and quite fast with your sticks or, or with your canes, but for the purpose of this as being therapy, I want you to slow it right down, make sure we've got really good balance and make sure we do the pattern properly. One, two, three, four. If you lose the pattern, come back to the beginning, start again. Uh, we want to make sure we, we do it with good quality. Okay, so we're coming up, we do there and back, a length of your room, whatever or whatever space you've got. We do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. As you're standing, as you're stepping, I want you to work really hard to do, push your heel down on the way down. So do a good step, don't do too big a step. Don't worry about doing a small step if you're working on your balance, but we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Push those heels down as much as we can. That's what I really want you to work on when you're doing your step in slow, control, push your heels down. Okay. Once you've done that, pause if you need to. There's, there's no rush. Pause and then you can always catch up with the rest of the workout after you've finished. So the next thing we're going to do is we're, we're going to use one stick and we need help from, uh, quite a bit of help from uh, mum and dad for this one. So sitting on the bench, uh, you're going to hold on to the stick in front of you like this and mum or dad's going to stand on the other side and hold it hold it for you on the other side okay from there you're going to do a, a push to, to stand so parent don't hold that stick too too tight for them so they can just pull with their arms we're going to try and do a big push to stand okay mum and dad you can vary how much you hold the stick now to give them more support by holding it really strong or less support by holding it a bit loosely Okay, so I'm just going to turn this way to try and help to demonstrate for you. So hold it about um, just below shoulder height. Okay, so we've got one more dad on this side. Okay, person working hard on this side. Okay, holding it strong to give more help loosely, to give less help. So come up really tall. We're then going to go for a bit of a walk. So what I want to do is we're going to do push, step, stop, balance. Okay, I want to, you to definitely feel the child pushing through the stick before they step. That's going to really help to engage their core, get them transferring their weight over their standing foot and get them working really hard here. So push, step, stop, balance, push, step, stop, balance. Okay, again, we're going to do a length there and back. So we're here, push, step stop balance push so we're leaning forwards push step stop balance try not to let the arms come in really tight we want to work on pushing those arms away so we're working really hard around our hips really hard around our tummy to get our balance push step stop push step stop okay we're gonna do a length a length there and back for any parts of this workout, if you think um, they're really useful, you can always pause the video, do some more reps, or pause the video, 
and do some more sets. So I've designed this to be sort of like a 20 minute blast of sit to stands and walking, but for people of different levels, or if you want to work on something specific, feel free to chop it down into different sessions and just do some more sets of each of the activities. And we know that it's good for if you're wanting to build strength to perhaps add some repetitions or do some extra sets to help build some strength as you go along. Because if you just keep doing the same workout over and over, you'll plateau at that sort of level. So don't be afraid to, <clears throat> to add little bits into it or change it to, to meet your needs, okay? Now we're nearly there, okay? This is the last activity I've got for us today. And this one, we're gonna need some help from mum and dad too. Um, so what we're gonna do is the child's gonna come up into standing and then mum or dad's gonna go behind them and they're gonna be kneeling on the floor. So if the child's sitting on the bench, they're gonna do a big stand, you're gonna come in behind and kneel down on the floor. Okay, I want you to hold the hips. Okay, I want you to stand really tall. Ideally, I don't want to hold on to anything. Okay, but I know some children really like the feeling of holding on to something. If they really, really have to hold a cushion or a teddy and squeeze it tight to help them stand tall. Uh, if not, just hands down by their side. Try not to let them <laughs> grab onto you or hold on, hold on to their own hips. Uh, want the hands free. We don't want them flapping around. We want them nice and nice and controlled by their side or holding them in or squeezing them together. Okay. Mum and Dad's holding their hips. We're standing really tall. We're doing really nice standing balance. You've got to have good imagination to, for this one, I'm afraid. Okay, what we're going to then work on is weight transfer from side to side. So just do a little bit of side to side weight transfer from one foot to the other. Nice and slow. So you're moving the hips from side to side. Let's get a little bit of weight transfer. Once you've got that, we're going to go for a really slow walk again. Okay, so we're going to do lean onto the standing leg, step, stop, balance, lean, step, stop balance you're going to keep keep walking behind stay quite close okay give as much or as little support as you need if uh, if your child can can walk independently at this point or is working on an independent walking do that and do that instead just vary the support as much as what or as little as what you need okay so we're from here lean step stop lean step stop stay close okay keep working hard they're pushing up through their feet the main thing here is I want to get loads of weight through the feet. I want to get the weight shifting from side to side. I want to get a really nice step and I want to stop and balance and do it with nice control. Okay. So again, you can do there and back, whatever space you've got, or as I say, pause, practice, do and do, do more and more. Do, do, do some more sets or some more reps of, of each exercise as you want to. Um, but great, so so that is the end of that little workout for you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know how you find it. Let me know what you enjoyed best. And let me know which bit you found most tricky. Um, like and, and share the page around so all your friends can get, get to do it too. Uh, and if you've got some pictures or videos of you practicing any of the exercises that we've, we've given to you over this period, then please share them with us too because it's great for us to see. But thanks very much, that's it from me. I will hopefully see you soon. Thanks, bye.